The day I graduated college in 2005, I decided to start a rental company. It took a few years until it became successful enough to be my full-time job, but now it's all I do. My hope is to help you by sharing my knowledge. So have you got $20,000 to invest but not a lot of time? Well, restroom trailer is where it's at. They're a lot of money, but if you've got, if you wanna get in the rental industry but you don't have time, you got a full-time job, uh, these restroom trailers, yeah, $20,000, $25,000. This is a four unit one. It's got two on each side. Uh, it would cost us $22,000, but they're fast and easy to do. So. If you've got a normal job or a few businesses or and you're just short on time but you want to make money in the rental industry one of these is is great and super easy so let me tell you the story uh, someone told me when they were trying to sell me one a few years ago before we decided to get into it and then this story came true we actually seen it firsthand they were saying that they were setting up a 40 by 60 one time and they're there you know two to three hours doing this you know the whole tent tables chairs everything and while they're there a restroom company shows up and sets up this restroom trailer in 15 minutes and then leaves and they make the same money that they were making being there for three hours and they were just like oh my god this is crazy we need to get into restroom trailers because they're fast and easy and then they started buying their own and then then eventually they just started making their own and now they now they have an event rental company and they have another company that makes restroom trailers and sells them to people like me. Now, a few years later, we're on a job site setting up a 40 by 60. And it's taking three to four hours to do all the tent, tables, chairs, lights, everything. And a restroom trailer company shows up. They knock on the door, get the customer. The customer tells them where it's going to go. They back it up. They put all the stairs and stuff down. And 15 minutes later, they're gone. And they made $1,000. Meanwhile, I'm... I'm there with myself and two other guys taking three to four hours to do it, two to three hours to take it down and making about, you know, a little more than what they made, but it's taking a whole lot longer. Um, so I decided to get into the restroom business. Now it's a little easier for me because I already have a rental company. So when people call up and they book their wedding, we just tell them about this and they were already looking for one anyways. So we quote it for them and then they usually end up getting it. It'd be a little harder if it's just your only sole business is this. You're gonna have to create a website, get the word out there. You know, it's easier for me because they're already coming to me for, for things and then we just tack this on. You alone, you're gonna go, you're gonna be dropping this off to places that already have their tent and things like that from some other company. But they're super fast, super easy. Let me uh, show you the inside. Basically, there's stairs and the stairs have railings, but uh, we have the railings inside there, and it's just like a real bathroom. It has a toilet, a sink, real floor, um, soap dispenser, paper towels. It's got real flushing water. Uh, we show up and we plug this in on site, or if they need a generator, we do charge for a generator. And uh, we can either hook up a hose to this, or, um, fill up the tank in the mechanical room beforehand. Um, the guys who deliver this have gotten it down to about 15 minutes and then they're out. So the longest part is actually just driving with it. And then when they pick it up, they unhook it, unhook the power, put the stairs back up, lock it all up, and then bring it to the closest like campground. That's how we're emptying it right now. It costs seven bucks to empty it at a campground and a hundred bucks for a pump company to come pump it out. So we've just found all the campgrounds in the area and if we're near one of them, they just, on their way back, they just stop, empty it out for seven bucks. If, if not, if they can't, it's nowhere near, then sometimes we'll have the guy come here and empty it for a hundred bucks, which kind of sucks, but the seven dollars is way better. But. Yeah, this is our only one right now. We're going to be buying another one because they it books up really fast. We got it in May of last year. Uh, so all our weddings for the summer didn't know we had it yet. We didn't know we had it yet. So they didn't book it. and But we did get it out 10 times from people who needed one. And then, uh, and then this year, because it was on the website and we could quote it, 
we booked it with a large portion of our weddings. It's basically booked up every weekend. And starting in July, we we're starting to double book because that's when we're planning on buying the second one. And we're gonna buy another four unit one. There are two unit ones, but two units just don't handle most, most events. You gotta have 80 people or less. And most events are more than that. So we just go with the four unit because it's gonna be able to handle 100 to 200 people and it's only $200 more rental. We get $1,000 for this. If we had a two unit one, we would do it for $800. So this just makes more sense. It's gonna be more versatile and we make a little bit more money with it. We also charge a delivery fee on it. If we're going to set up the tent and the delivery was 150, the delivery on this is 50. If we're doing a tent and everything and the delivery is 30, then delivery on this is 30 because it's going separate. It's not going with the big box trucks. It's going with a pickup truck and it's usually going a day or two later. Like we'll do a huge wedding. We'll set that up on a Wednesday. Uh, this will probably drop off on Friday and pick up on Sunday. So this particular thing I have spun off into a separate business because I never really wanted to deal with human waste. Uh, so I'm a 30% owner in this and there's two other guys and they're 35% owners each and they're the ones who handle the delivery and cleaning it and getting it emptied and all that and I just sit back and I make the money. I'm the one who put most of the money in and they're paying me back. Uh, even though I'm 30% owner, I put in 50% of the money. I actually put in 100% but 50% to start with and they're paying me back and then all the rest of the units that we buy, I'll be putting in my 30% and uh, they'll be putting in their 35% a piece. Now our hope is to get up to five of these. That'd be $5,000 a weekend. And I don't see any problem getting five of them out every single weekend. Cause we're gonna be doing them with every one of our big weddings, and some medium weddings. And then, you know, they're gonna be going to other tents that we don't own. So our goal is five of them. And then uh, at that point, it's gonna be kind of crazy to have them emptied. Uh, at a campsite every weekend. So we'll pay the guy to come. He says it'll be a hundred bucks for the first one and 25 bucks for the other ones. And even though that's going to add up, it's gonna save a lot of time uh, cause he'll just be able to come empty all five of them right here where they're parked. So yeah, if you've got money to invest but not time to invest, this restroom trailer idea is, is good. And you don't actually have to deal with poop nothing you never touch the poop there's a thing down here that a hose gets hooked up to and it just drains it just like an rv uh, so a pump truck will just pump it out or if you bring it to a campsite they put a hose in the back toilet and then everything just gets flushed out we bought a non-heated one non-insulated because we just didn't feel like people were going to be renting renting them in the winter and stuff we did get one call for it and we told him the price and he's like ah never mind we were thinking like a hundred bucks a week and i'm just like no nah, dude it'd be a thousand dollars a week so we don't need an all season one because we're doing most of our events in the summer anyways so it's not heated or anything it does have ac in it and uh radio and things like that but it's, it's not it's not heated so we can't do it in the winter so we winterize it but yeah they are super easy they cost a lot but you know you make your money back fast with them and if you get them early enough say, say you get them in december you can start advertising them so that you can get them out every weekend in the summer like i said us we got ours in may last year so it didn't go out as much as we hoped but because we've had it now for a year uh it's basically out every single weekend and we're we're gonna be ending up buying more so yeah thanks for watching any questions put them in the comment i'd also like to thank my latest patreon person his name is keen he signed up last night and asked me a question and i got right back to him so thank you keen for doing my patreon and anyone else who wants to you know i made it like 12 bucks a month and guaranteed for me to communicate with you and give you tips and things like that because basically my season has started and it's kind of a little busy to be answering everyone's questions on YouTube but so yeah if you if you want to sign up for that patreon go ahead if not that's fine I'm still gonna be making videos and stuff but again thank you Keen and thanks for watching